chapter 34 باب قول الله تعالى أفأمنوا مكر الله فلا يأمنوا مكر الله إلا القوم الخاسرون The chapter to feel secure against the plan of Allah contradicts Tawheed That means the verse means that they then feel secure against the plan of Allah None feel secure from the plan of Allah except the people who are lost الأمن من مكر الله That when a person believes or have security that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when the person is committing kufr, committing sins that he's still going to be okay that he will enter the jannah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all of this negates the tawheed, contradicts the tawheed and the opposite of that also is not permissible when a person give up on the mercy of Allah if he gives up, gives up on the mercy of Allah this is also negates the tawheed because it denies what is in the Quran. So the makr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is when the person is being he's disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alaykum salam and he is still given good things in this dunya. He's not being punished in this dunya because this is not the place of punishment. So the more he disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the more things are made easy for him. Right? So that's a way of istidraj that he's, he's in a very dangerous state because if he disobeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he got punished, make him wake up, make him realize that he's doing something wrong. But the more he do wrong and the matter is made easy for him, most of the human beings, they think that this is a sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with them. When they are disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so this is al-amn from or security from the plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is was for the disbelievers and also for the believers to be aware of that that they should not do that, otherwise it negates the Tawheed. And this is one of the worst of the sins. Only those who are lost. And the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, the meaning of which, if you see someone on the state of sin, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving him more and more matters of the dunya, then know that this is istidraj. Know that this is istidraj, meaning that a person is being uh, pulled slowly, slowly, without knowing into his destruction and into the hellfire without realizing it, right? So uh, this is something that a person has to be aware of. The opposite of that, the next verse, قَالَ وَمَنْ يَقْنَطُ مِنْ رَحْمَةِ رَبِّهِ إِلَّا الضَّلُونَ Who despairs of the mercy of his Lord except those who are astray. That means the believers is not permissible for them to give up on the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it also negates the perfection of the tawheed. That the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encompasses everything. That if a person turns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he should have the good expectations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah would forgive him and so on. And not to give up that means he would say there is no way so he would stay in the life of sin. This is different than always remembering one's sin to have the fear of Allah. It has to be a healthy fear that would make the person steadfast on the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we hear from these two verses, there are two extremes that we're supposed not to be in one of them. One extreme in which the person feels secure when he is on sin. And the other extreme is, is when a person give up on the mercy of Allah. The, the proper way is to have the fear and the hope, to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and to fear our sins, and to hope for the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And narrated by Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhumma, أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سئل عن الكبائر فقال الشرك بالله واليأس من روح الله والأمن من مكر الله The Prophet ﷺ was asked concerning major sins Then he صلى الله عليه وسلم said associating others with Allah definitely the shirk has to be mentioned first Number two to lose hope of relief from Allah to lose hope to give up on the mercy of Allah this is a major sin and three, thinking oneself secure from the plan of Allah. When a person is on sin, on shirk, whatever, and he is feeling secure that he will be okay. These are major sins. And it's something that is done by one's heart. And it definitely negates the fear and the hope from the rewards of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is part of a tawheed. Uh, the next hadith is uh, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu, that the Prophet sallallahu said, Akbar al kabair the, may, the worst or the greatest of the major uh, sins, al-ishraku billah, to associate partners with Allah. Wal-amnu min makri 
thinking oneself secure from the plan of Allah وَالْكُنُوتُ مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ وَالْيَأْسُ مِنْ رَوْحِ اللَّهِ which means to despair of the mercy of Allah and to lose hope of Allah's relief. This is all from major sins. Again, because it negates the oneness of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the fear and the hope for Allah's reward. Right? So that means we learn that we are between the fear and the hope. We fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we hope for Allah's reward. Right? And if he fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he should not despair of the mercy of Allah. Right? And if he hoping the rewards from Allah, he should not feel that secure. So he's always in between. Right? Because if a person is not paying attention, he will go to the extremes. And the extremes are bad in this. He has to live with the, with the hope and the fear. Sometimes you have more the fear of Allah. If there is so much sins, if a person is afraid of the sin of Allah, he needs to have more fear. But this fear again is a healthy one. It does not make the person says, I'm doomed, I'm in the half fire for sure. So what's the point of working then? Right? This is definitely a major sin. And on the other side, if there's a person feeling secure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful. So a person commits sins and says, as long as my heart is good and I feel good for everybody, then as if the Qur'an is just for play, all these things are halal and haram, is for what reason? The person has to uh, correct this hope to be according to the orders of Allah and never uh, deny one or the other. And we see the clear relationship between that and the tawheed, the oneness of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah, any questions before we continue? Related, inshallah, because we, we want to try the, to go on, inshallah. Still, we have some time, inshallah.